Microsoft Word 2010 gives you a variety of tools for editing your documents. The simplest, of course, is deleting the text you don't need. But there are also tools that you can use to move text from one place to another in your document. You can even copy text and place it in a separate document. These tools are cut, copy, and paste. When you copy text, an exact duplicate of the selected text is placed on the clipboard while the original text stays in its place. When you cut text, the selected text is removed from your document and placed on the clipboard. Once the text is placed on the clipboard, either by copying it or cutting it, you can then paste the text in a different location or in a different document. Word gives you three different ways to perform a cut, copy, or paste. You can use the clipboard buttons available on the ribbon when you click the Home tab. You can right-click a selection and select from a menu of options. Or you can use the three keyboard shortcuts every computer user should know. You're editing a document and you need to rearrange the content. You'll use multiple techniques to cut, copy, and paste text. We want to try different arrangements of this text to strengthen the document. Our anti-harassment policy is very important, so let's move it to the top of the list. To begin, we need to select all the text. We'll also need to select the blank line after the text so that the spacing is included in our pasted text. At the far left of the ribbon, the clipboard group contains the cut, copy, and paste buttons. We want to cut the selected text. The cut button has a pair of scissors on it. The text is removed and held on the clipboard. We want to move the cut text to the beginning of the document. To do this, we need to move our insertion point to the place where we want the text to be pasted. Now we can paste the text we cut with the click of a button. The paste button has an image of a clipboard on it. The next thing we want to do is copy the open door policy to another document so we can create a handout for our employees. First, we have to select the text. Our insertion point is already at the beginning of the text we want to select, so we can use Shift-Click to select the rest of the text. We don't want to cut this text because we want it to remain in the current document. So we'll use the copy command to place an exact copy onto the clipboard. We want to paste the text into another document which is already open. So let's switch to that document. We can take a look at the contents of our clipboard to make sure we have the text we need. The button we need to do this is in the lower right corner of the clipboard group on the ribbon. The clipboard task pane shows us the contents of the clipboard and lists all the items that were recently cut or copied. Let's go ahead and paste the copied text into the new document. We'll use a keyboard shortcut this time. The text is now in an entirely different document. Cut, copy, and paste are some of the most useful tools in word processing because they allow you to reorganize your work quickly and easily.